Hey there, Taurus. How's it going? We're going to get started on your love reading. This reading is good for the second half of September from the 15th to the 31st. Let's get started. Taurus, Bogang, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And uh, for the rest of you that are back, my faithful viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for your love, for your support, and for sticking around with me. I know that it's been a bit turbulent over here on my side, but listen, you guys, Taurus, you have been ride or die with me. You've been riding this roller coaster with me. We'd, we've been to the through these ups and downs. <laughs> and uh, well, I just want to take the time to let you know that I appreciate you greatly and that I love each and every one of you for uh, for staying by my side. All right, Taurus, let's get started. All right, Taurus. So in this reading, guys. I want to tap into you. What are you doing? What are you up to? Because there is cross watchers here that want to know what's up with Taurus. What are they doing? What are they feeling? What are they thinking? So we'll be tapping into you and, and then we'll be tapping into your significant other, this other person, guys, whatever you want to call them. We'll be tapping into them. And finally, I'll be giving you some foresight into what you can expect to be unfolding because this reading is meant to keep you up to date. <laughs> it's meant to keep you up to up to date, guys, on what's happening, what's going on. So there's no surprises. And it's also meant to help you stay one step ahead always. All right. So this is you, Taurus. We have the wheel of fortune and it's reversed. <sighs> You know what this feels like? It feels like you've accepted that there are some things you cannot control with the wheel of fortune. And, and I'm seeing the wheel of fortune just spin and it, it it's like a wheel that just pops off <laughs> and it just goes hey, it's over there and you're like, eh, whatever. Um, I don't feel like that's always been, that's not all that. You haven't always felt this way, this will of this will of fortune reverse, but I what well, you know with the will of fortune, we cannot control it. There's things we cannot control in this universe, in love, in, in our lives, in other people's lives. And all we can do in, is accept that. And well, with the will of fortune reversed, I feel like you've gotten to that point, guys. We have the page of swords. And then we have the Knight of Cups. <clears throat> I see you thinking about a Knight of Cups. This could be a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. You're thinking about love. Doesn't have to be a water sign. It could be any other sign. Signs don't really matter necessarily. It could be anybody, guys. But I do see you thinking about this situation. All right. So the Wheel of Fortune Reverse says that for many of you, um, there is a situation here that perhaps maybe didn't uh, fully unravel or unfold. And it's kind of I'm here and it's kind of like, you know what I'm seeing right now guys I'm having to tell you guys this and um I, I feel like it's heavy in symbolism because I'm hearing that this is a package uh that arrived but that you never opened up right it's it's yeah there's it's like a actually what I heard is it's a is a present guys that is there that you put up in a shelf and uh, you've been, I don't know, waiting for the right moment to un unwrap it and see what's inside. Or at least that's that's what is happening here. That's the situation, guys. What do you think about that? And I, I like this guy. Look, unfortunately, guys, I turned off the focus on my camera because I have new lighting that I set up today and um, it was... The focus was just um, messing with the lighting so bad the the camera the screen would get like really bright and I just didn't want to mess with I didn't <sighs> it was just easy for me just to turn it off for right now so I could get the reading done I'll mess with that and I'll fix that later but listen if you you're able to see I love this guy's hair there's a very like bohemian vibe from this Knight of Cups that I'm picking up. And uh, this is a this is a very romantic individual, guys. Very sentimental too, very intuitive. And uh, I feel like you can tap into this person like that. You can see through them. And um, I feel like this person doesn't even have to speak because you know what they're thinking and you know what they're feeling. And they know this about you and they love it, guys, because I feel like they're kind of timid. Timid. 
They don't um, like to maybe express themselves emotionally or not necessarily emotionally, but verbally. I feel like they struggle a little bit to express themselves, to tell you with communication. So uh, they need it, 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 they need somebody that's very intuitive that just speaks to them in a different language. And I feel like you guys understand each other. Um, this Knight of Cups, Ruby could be of significance as well as Rose, because those are names that I'm seeing here. Ruby, again, I turned off the Zoom, but it says, it says Ruby. I think this is a crystal. Yeah, yeah, look, the crystal magic tarot. For those of you that care to know what I'm using, it's this deck right here. This says Desert Rose. So look, I'm seeing this as you. You're like, yep. Yeah. Oh, damn, damn you, camera. But you're, you can see it. You can see it. This page of swords, that's you guys. And you're listening. Oh my God. Look, you're listening. You're listening. So I'm hearing you guys talk long distance, but um, yeah, you talk. Come on, camera. Goodness. Come to me over here. Let's see. You talk long distance. What does that mean? <laughs> telepathically there's like a lot of telepathic communication between you and this other person all right so that's you taurus you are which let's summarize it you have you gosh it's like you're tapped into this person uh, you're, you're tapped into this person and it's like many of you can't disconnect you're like trying to pull the plug on it ah, and it's tugging at you like no you can't you can't dissolve, you can't dissolve this, this, this cord here. I'm hearing many of you have tried to, you've done all, you've, you've worked your magic. <laughs> you tried to cut some cords and uh, still it's, it's there. This is a connection that uh, you have been unable to dissolve. All right. Um, well, that, it, I guess it sucks, right? Because the will of fortune is here. It's like, so I understand why you're trying to unplug. I completely understand, but you can't. So um, nothing has been happening here, guys. Or at least that's, that's, that's your perspective. That's how you feel, okay? So now let's see. Let's take a look at this other person. Here they are again. Look at the bottom of the deck. It's the King of Cups. The King of Cups. This could be a Scorpio, guys. And we have the Two of Pentacles. This person is watching you. Because this person to me looks, they, they just, they're watching you. Looks like they're like, what? You know, they're looking at something. The King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, again, doesn't have to be. This is a person that is um, very, they're very spiritual. It's something that might not necessarily be readily apparent. Now, it might be because I'm kind of getting this storyline that this person wasn't. I mean, they, they weren't before. They didn't grow up that way, but it's like they've... Um, adopted like beliefs, new beliefs. And uh, that is something that for some of you, you are able to see in their attire, in their clothes, or maybe like in a piece of jewelry, a necklace or like a ring, an accessory of some sort that just, you know, sometimes you see people out, you know, maybe there's like a chakra necklace. They look, nothing about them necessarily tells you that they're spiritual or right. But maybe they they have a, a certain necklace or a certain symbol, I don't know, on something, an accessory, and you're like, oh, okay, I, I know. So something like that. We have the two of pentacles. This is this other person, guys. I feel like this person is trying to... <sighs> Bloodstone could be of significance for some of you. Bloodstone as well as amethyst. <sighs> this person is watching you. And with the two of pentacles, are they, okay, right now I heard they're watching you work because the two of pentacles is here. They, many of you, they're watching you. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> okay, let me get one more card. That's kind of, that's kind of creepy. 
we have the ace of cups and then we have the two of wands i also i also feel like this person is trying to get um let me give you a glimpse into their life they're prioritizing a lot of things i feel like they find themselves busy for sure at work but i'm hearing they still find the time to check in on you to think about you and i'm seeing this person sitting down and they're connecting with you through like a meditation or something two of wands and the ace of cups this person has a lot of love for you guys and the twos are of significance so i'm getting that this person is perhaps at a crossroads in their life they're at a crossroads in their life and um, I do see them thinking about the direction their life is taking with this two of wands and I feel like they're so you know what I'm also getting I feel like there's this person um, I mean they're looking you up or they're they're watching you and they're also like making preparations um, I feel like this person I'm connecting with those of you that um there's I mean look there's it's there's not there's let's call this a less a lost connection let's call it a lost connection and um I feel like they're getting ready to I feel like they want to talk to you, the Ace of Cups and the Two of Wands. And, and that's that they're reaching out because they find themselves in a point in time where let's just say they can do that. They want to do that. They can do that. It's more so about being able to, however that resonates. OK, so. Um, How is this going to how is how is this going to be unraveling? Let's see. Tell me more about what's going to be happening. Let's leave my dear uh, Taurus with some foresight into the future, into what they can expect to be unraveling based on what has already happened, based on what we're seeing. How is this going to be unfolding, Holy Spirit? Let's see. We have the six of cups. What what am I saying, guys? And then we have the four. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Six of Cups, Pink Opal. The the Six of Cups is a past lover. This is, I'm also getting, it, you're going to hear from this person, guys. You're going to hear from them. The Six of Cups. Um, now, this is weird. Um, I mean, it's not weird, but but it feels weird for sure. <clears throat> you're going to start picking up on this person's energy heavily. I mean, you're going to be driving and then you're going to hear a song and it's as if this person is speaking to you. You're going to see things on TV or when you're out and about signs and there's things that are going to point to this person. And I'm hearing, and that happens to, to you oftentimes where, um, I'm hearing throughout many months, uh, even years for some of you where you connect with this person very deeply and then it feels like the connection is lost. But then I'm hearing that you pick up reception again and it's like this person is heavily there. Um, and that's because this, this, and I'm hearing when that happens, when that happens is because that person is, um, I'm hearing really close to you or they're thinking, they're thinking about you in the same way, like the same stuff is happening to them. We have the full guys. Oh my goodness. I feel like this is a, a whole new chapter for you guys. Remember I said that this person finds themselves at some sort of crossroads in their life where they can decide what is important, what, you know, because the two of wands is here and the two of wands has dominion, which, which says what it says that this person has the power to direct their life onto a certain path. And you see this King of Cups is watching. They're like, they're like this, like they're watching you. They're paying attention and they're deciding what they can do. And this Ace of Cups just says that um, this is love. Love is, is a focal point. I feel like this is something that they're wanting. This is a priority of theirs, their love life. And well, that's when you come into the picture, guys. the six of cups and then the full it the path is getting cleared this is uh 
many of you are going to hear from this person with the six of cups and i'm telling you it's going to start with uh that reception guys you're, they're gonna plug back in and but listen you're not the only one they they go through this too they feel the same way it happens to them too so he, you're be prepared to hear from this person but it's going to start with memories maybe even dreams and again synchronicities everywhere that point to them guys and um i'm hearing spirit is trying to let you know let the both of you know that uh there is a new beginning because it's the what it's the full the path has been cleared as well. This is a, a brand new clean slate for you guys, which is available. Beautiful energy. All right. So that's what you can expect, guys. Now let's get some closing messages for you from uh, these two decks over here. I want to use another deck. Oh, this one over here. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's start with the Eye of Zen Romance Oracle cards. Taurus, if you want to book a reading with me, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. This is a really good time to book a reading, guys, because there is a sale happening on my website right now. So go check it out. Book your reading right now at a discount. <laughs> All right, Taurus, Taurus. It's a pretty good discount too. I think the biggest sale I've had all right, let's see, let's see, Taurus, Taurus, patience. <laughs> Gosh, I feel like the universe picks on Tauruses <laughs> because we're like the most patient people. And um, when I pull this card or any card, or when I'm delivering that message uh, of patience, just to you guys, but just any sign in general, but especially for you, Taurus, I feel like it's like mocking me, mocking us. Cause I'm a Taurus. For those of you that don't know, I'm a Taurus and, um, gosh, we're patient as ever. Aren't we guys? It says being willing to accept delay, know that anything worth having takes time. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? patience being willing to accept delay that's that will of fortune reverse that we saw which does require patience being willing to accept delay know that anything worth having takes time you remember that okay now let's get a card from this uh wasn't there another deck that i grabbed where is it oh <laughs> look it's right here i'm like where is it i'm like i know i had it it, it was under all right, there could be a Libra for some of you. All right, let's get a card from here. The Romantic Fairy Oracle. The Romantic Fairy Oracle. It says, forever young, forever young. I love that uh, Rod Stewart song, Forever Young. A song, uh, what did I say earlier? I'm like, you guys, you're, you're, <laughs> you might even hear that Rod Stewart song forever young randomly whoa wouldn't that be a, a massive sign from the universe a song of youthful playfulness uh, for many of you there's a song that you might keep hearing over and over or there's a song that you might um be you know comes up and something happens and and it's just like a huge message and you know like everything that's happening what you're feeling maybe you know you see something hear something whatever and it's like this song this song is important so again communicating there's a lot of back and forth communication guys i see you guys being like super plugged in with each other a song of youthful playfulness forever young okay last message last message let's see my dear taurus lovers oracle taurus taurus let's see let's see ah uh, let's get this one and it says, my beloved, though we may be physically apart. Oh my goodness. Taurus, listen, cross watcher, listen. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. Oh, <laughs> for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. I want to cry, guys. Oh my goodness, my beloved, my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, 
Physically, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Taurus, this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.